Hello, welcome to Zemery Designs. Let me show you an alternative to buttonholes. So let's get started. I designed this sweatshirt jacket upcycle for my sister-in-law. I pieced it all together using six and a half inch blocks. I added some decorative stitches and I added appliques to the front and to the back. The inside is completely lined as well with using those six and a half inch blocks. And I wanted to create the scrappy look. The back also has appliques. It's a family tree with leaves that has the female names of all of her female ancestors. And I have, I love my roots on the, on the back. I added some cuffs because I wanted to make sure that the sleeves were long enough. I did some bias binding on the neckline and on the bottom and then I created the placket to add the buttons. So I know sometimes people want to add buttons but they steer away from making buttonholes. So here's the alternative. So I lay out all of my buttons and I'll sew those on. But before I sew them on, I'm going to use either a small piece of bias binding. You can also use some elastic, a quarter inch elastic. You can use ribbon or you can even use some hair tie elastics. So I'm going to, once I lay out my buttons, I cut a small piece of fabric in the coordinating color and I cut about a three and a half, two and a half, three and a half inch square. I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to make sure that it fits the button, that the opening fits the button. And I'm going to pin that in place. And then I will lay that piece of square fabric right over that. And then I'll pin all of that in place. And then I'll go to my sewing machine and I will sew all the way around that. Now I used my pinking shears to pink around this edge to help the, that square fabric not fray so much. And I'll probably use a decorative stitch as I sew around that. But you can also layer that square fabric. I have a yo-yo here that I'm going to layer. And I also have another button. Now you can use coordinating buttons or you can use a scrappy look and create a different kind of button. And then of course I'll cut that end of that ribbon off. But that's one alternative that you can use for closure for a button and you don't need to make the buttonholes. Now here's the hair tie elastic, it's the same thing. I'm going to make sure that the hair tie elastic fits around the button. I'm going to pinch that hair tie elastic at the bottom. And of course, once you stretch it, it's going to fit around the button. I'm going to pin that in place at where I pinch it together. And once again, just checking to make sure that it's going to fit. And oops, let me make sure that I pin it in place. And then I'll take that to the sewing machine and baste it down even before I put my square of fabric. Now you can put it at an angle just to add some interest and detail or you can put a straight uh, square. And then again, I can layer that up. And when you layer this, you can layer it with, with some laces, some other ribbon, uh, different sizes of the squares with different colors of fabric. Now as I lay down my ribbon, I'm also going to introduce, I created these snippet rolls around a while back. I have a video on how I created that. I'll link it in the video. But I cut a square from that snippet roll and I can also use those to add even more detail, more interest. Just imagine those snippet rolls all the way down, how much detail that adds. And then I'll sew those on. And that's an alternative to creating the buttons and not having to create buttonholes to attach and close your buttons. 
Now if you wanted to create that bias binding, that little small piece, I start off with a one inch strip of fabric and you fold, fold it in half to, to crease that center. And then you're going to take each of those raw edges and fold it toward that crease center. And then fold all of that in so that all of your raw edges are on the inside. And then you will stitch. I'll probably do a decorative stitch or a zigzag stitch or something to uh, down that entire piece and you'll get this most like a quarter inch piece of binding. And you can use that as your closure. Just the same as using your ribbon. And that's an alternative to a button closure without having to create the button.